Firstly, good morning, good afternoon, evening from wherever you're joining. I'm very glad to meet you all. And I think I'm meeting you for the first time. So I'm very, very glad to meet you all. So today I'm going to talk about uh, a new behavior of direct streaming of content, uh, um, which is now enabled for drive items at, at graph endpoint. Now, before we go into the enhanced behavior, let's quickly recap what the current behavior is so that we all are on the same page. So today, when you are when you attempt to download a content of a drive item through graph endpoint, uh, you are redirected to a pre-auth URL, which again you need to hit to actually get the content. What does that mean? So let's see. Uh, when you uh, hit a uh, let's say you are hitting graph.microsoft.com drive drive ID and slash content. You get a 302 response and with that 302 and I'm going to have a demo um, with that 302 and a location header. You need to hit the location again to get the actual content. Uh, this has got a lot of pain points. One, of course, is because it, it kind of results in redundant calls for the same operation, which increased network round trip. And it's not a good performance, neither for Microsoft nor for any client which is calling the endpoint, which is why now we have enhanced the behavior and we have introduced a new beta endpoint, which will enable you directly stream the content from the graph endpoint for any drive, drive item. So the endpoint URLs are going to be same as you are using today. It's just that you need to add a beta because it's uh, rolled out in beta. Now let's see what is the change here. So when you hit, uh, so that updated endpoint is instead of slash content, you have to write content stream. And with that, when you hit, you directly get the content without getting a pre-auth URL and without having to call the uh, two network for the same operation. Now what it entails, it provides you an improved calling pattern because you are calling only once, which of course enhances your network uh, uh, performance. And also it's an enhanced security because there is no pre-auth URL given to you which needs to be hit. And hence it's a direct download which of course enhances the security, right? Now, a lot of more details about permissions. Nothing changes at the permission end, but if you really want to know more about it, I'm going to paste this uh, link of our documentation which you can refer for more uh, details. Now. Without any further ado, let me quickly jump through a demo and I have lined up a, a series of snapshots here. Uh, so and I've used a postman uh, as an interface to kind of carry out this demo. So let's see you are hitting today. This is a current behavior. You are hitting an endpoint to download the drive item content through, uh, you know, grab.microsoft.com slash drive uh, item item ID and slash content. Now, when you hit this, uh, you get a 302. Uh, and then when you go to header, you see there is a location, which location is the same location as you get uh, for for uh, drive item response as the uh, uh, download URL location. And you then need to call this location explicitly. And if you have this restore default enabled, it automatically kind of redirects the call to uh, download the content. But any which way, it requires two calls to download the content, which increases the network overhead. Now, what we are doing uh, going forward is uh, now you need to hit a new endpoint instead of content, write content stream. And then when you hit that, it automatically downloads all the content directly without you requiring to hit twice and getting redirected to a pre-auth URL. So it kind of entails all the benefits I just spoke about. Um, and it's again, I'm calling out it is released in beta. Um, so, you know, we, we highly recommend that you test it out and you tell us the, the the feedback so that you know it helps us benchmark things and uh, elevate to uh, uh, GA uh, 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 soon as soon as possible. So with that, um, you know, I would like to see if there's any question on the updated behavior or anything. I'm happy to answer. <laughs>